Now for shining the pick end up to get it looking nice and pretty. You can just hand sand it yourself. Just do the sides here. The uh, the tops here get kind of rounded off just a little bit. All the um, all the edges on the top, like the corners and stuff, get rounded out a little bit as you're doing it by hand. Just be careful, you know, don't do it too hard because you might bend it. Take it up to about 3,000 grit. After that, I'll show you my polishing procedure later. But now, I particularly use the um, the rotary sander here and uh, learned this from Wes Picks. And what you do is get yourself some granite. What I did is I got um, a granite cutting board that I found on Amazon. It wasn't that expensive and I had a really hard time just finding a piece of it just like this. But I saw the cutting board, it was cheap, got it, works perfect. All you do is lay your pick down so we're only really concerned about from my thumb up. We want that to be the smooth part because that's the part that might show the most. And what we do is um, we put our sand sandpaper on, which I take the sandpaper up, me personally, uh, up to about 1200 or 1500. And you don't have to do every single grit going up. You can start at 400, then do 800, and then do 1200, and kind of step it up like that. Because remember, it's a power, power tool. It'll, it'll do some of the work for you. But anyways, you take your pick, you stick it on here, put a little water on it, just like that. It's not that much water at all. Just put a little water on it, put your sander on it, sand, just pay attention to it, and make sure, you know, flip it over, do the other side, pay attention to it, make sure you're actually getting, you know, the sanding done you need to, and that way you also know when to stop and when you go to the next grit. And that's about it. So you either go through all the grits or... You take the sander and sit there and do it on a hard piece, you know, something very hard like this granite and take it up to the grits. You can do a thousand and I, that would be fine, but I do it about 12, 1500 and I'll be back after I do this. All right, we're going to do our final buffing up of our pick metal here. And to do that, we're going to use some buffing compound, which you can see up here already cut out. I got some peak polish and some more fine polish up here. If you're going through all the grits and you're not using um, the power sander and a Dremel, um, you'll just go through the grits up to about 3,000, 5,000, then use your peak polish followed by a more fine polish. But since we use the hand sander, uh, sander we're making it easier on ourselves. Um, we're going to finish it off with a Dremel here. And uh, with the Dremel, we'll use these, um, I guess they're cotton, I don't remember what they are. Um, these buffing brushes right here, along with this compound. And then we'll follow up with these two at the end. So, first though, let's see if we can get that in view there. If you look towards the inside part, you can see that there's just a little bit of like a triangle sticking out where it's not quite as buffed as the rest of it. And kind of you see it just a little bit right there. And we want to get rid of that before we um, buff it with our Dremel. So what I'm going to do is I finished it up with um, 1500 grit on the, the hand sander, the power sander. So I'm just going to use 1500 grit to go over it with my hand real quick. Just to make sure everything else is good. And then yeah, I can already see that little spot towards the inside there kind of disappearing. I'm gonna go up to the top just real quick too, just to make sure. Because when you're doing the hand sander, you're pushing it down on this. So it can sometimes leave little scratches itself. So Good. Do a little bit more, I flip it around that way you can make sure you get the pressure on this side too. Even pressure on both sides. There we go, looks like this one's looking good. A little bit more right there just to make sure. All right, that'll do. See, just a little bit still, but we'll get the rest out. So what we're gonna do now is use our little 
little buffing buffing pads here and put it on our Dremel like we got right here. Here is our our pick and you want the um, what you want to do is you want to make sure that when you're doing this you want this turning the direction that the pick is going off. The reason being if it's turning this way when the pick end is facing out that way as you can see when it's going this way if you go out too far out here it'll catch on the tip right there and it'll bend your pick and it'll just ruin it and that sucks trust me gosh that sucks so you always want to make sure that your dremel is going the same way that it's going off the pick so all we do is just turn it on get a little bit of this and go over it it over make sure we get up there on the inside a little bit right at the end of our handle Over, get this side a little bit more. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. See, it's looking pretty good now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go over it just a little bit more just to make sure and I'll speed this part up and then I'm going to hit it with the next two substances for our polishes. Okay, so this is looking good now. Get the light to shine on it there. Go. It's looking pretty good now. You can see down here where all the scratches start that we put on it earlier. So now that it's looking pretty good, we're gonna go ahead and take our our more coarse polish, which I use peak. 
just dip a little bit into a rag and make sure you don't bend your pick and just polish it. You don't have to push too hard, just enough to make sure it's it's rubbing. You can see right there how it's dark in that rag, that's some of the metal coming off there. A bit more. I'm going to go around the top and the bottom of it too, just to make it nice. That'll be good. Clean it off. Yeah, it's starting to look pretty shiny now. I might take... I don't know. We'll see how it looks after this. So next... We'll use this, our fine polish. And then we'll go over it. Same as with our course. And there we go. Light on there. Hey, you. There we go. You can see how shiny it is now. Every time I get the light on it, it focuses. <laughs> so, yeah, it's nice and shiny now. Both sides. It's nice and uh, pretty much finished up. And you can see it's probably just a little bit dirty right there. Yeah. But it's pretty good. So. Our pick is pretty much done now, so all we have to do now is glue in our pins. So we can see here, as so we stick this in here, our pick is going to look pretty good there. Now we have to glue it in and put our pins in and glue it all up.